be careful. It is easy to be deceived. Many people will come claiming they have my authority. They'll shout, I am the one, or the time is now. Don't take a step in their direction. You'll hear about wars and conflicts. Don't be frightened at all, because these things must surely come, although they don't signify the immediate coming of the end. You can count on this. Nation will attack nation, and realm will make war on realm. There will be disturbances around the world, from great earthquakes to famines to epidemics. Terrifying things will happen, and there will be shocking signs from heaven. But before any of this happens, they will capture you and persecute you. They'll send you to religious edifices for trial and to prisons for punishment. You'll stand before rulers and government officials for the sake of my name. This will be your opportunity, your opportunity to tell your story. Make up your minds in advance not to plan your strategy for answering their questions, for when the time comes, I will give you the words to say, wise words, which none of your adversaries will be able to answer or argue against. Your own parents, siblings, relatives, and friends will turn against you and turn you in. Some of you will be killed, and all of you will be hated for the sake of my name. But whatever happens, not a single hair of your heads will be harmed. By enduring all of these things, you will, not, you will find not loss, but gain, not death, but authentic life. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. from the Drum Major Instinct. If you want to be important, wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that the one who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's your new definition of greatness. By giving that definition of greatness, it means that everybody can be great because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You don't have to know about Plato and Aristotle to serve. You don't have to know about Einstein's theory of relativity to serve. You don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics to serve. You only need a heart full of grace, a soul generated by love, and you can be that servant. And now I invite us to share part of our statement of faith together as a prayer. And I just invite you to repeat after me. Oh God, we expect to see your reign on earth. Oh God, we expect to see your reign on earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. As we work toward a world. As we work toward a world. Where everyone has enough. Where everyone has enough. Wars cease. Wars cease. And all creation lives in harmony. All creation lives in harmony. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. And so it is. And so it is. Amen. amen. amen.